All right, this is Anna from Team Outcast. Coming at you with the third place OTS Championship deck profile with my buddy Hector here. Uh, and what do we play today, Hector? Invoked Wind Witch, Spellbook, True Draco. A lot of engines. Did it work pretty well today? It's pretty consistent. So let's All go ahead right. and go into the deck profile. So basic, three Alistairs. Just the basic, get my invocation. I go for Mikaba, basically. True Draco engine, I got two Masterpiece, one Ignis, and one Majesty. All right, and how did uh, not having the Dynamite Fighter help? Uh, it, wasn't that big of hurt. An, it wasn't that big of an issue. As long as I still have Return and Apocalypse, just combo it off with Diagram and get some draw power off of Heritage, I was able to go into and disturb my opponent's plays during his turn. So it was pretty, it was a play stopper, so it was, it was good for today. Sounds now good. to the Wind Witch engine. Basic, three, two, one, Ice Bell, Glass Bell, and then Snow Bell. Always want to go for a Crystal Wing if you open up with the Ice Bell at least, unless you get Ash or Ogre. But really consistent, really good on the opening hands. How many what times you did you make a first turn Crystal Wing? Uh, just three times, it was enough. It was enough. It got me a lot of game threes today. This is a really good card right here. I know people don't really play this, but the wind, True King. What was just your choice for her? Just because Diagram Pop, you get two searches. So you get your, say you go for a spell like Heritage, and then you go into add a non-wind worm type. So Masterpiece, Ignis, Majesty. Well, not Majesty, Majesty's Wind. So just Ignis or Masterpiece, and go from there. So it's an instant two card add. So that worked out really well. That's the only reason I use it. I think I summoned it one time during the whole tournament. It's broken when you actually summon it with two it wins, is, though. It is. But I didn't fulfill it today, so... As for the hand traps, just basic. Two Ghost Ogres, two Ashes, and then one Maxi. Didn't use Maxi as much today. There wasn't any hard special summon, since y'all know Zoo's gone. So there's no spamming anymore, so it wasn't that great. Always let it out going first. Always a good choice. Always a good choice, yes. For the last monster in the deck, it was a uh, Blue Boy. Blue Boy is just great. one Blue Boy? One Blue Boy, yes. Anything more just clogs it. It sucks seeing this in the opening hand if you don't have a knowledge. Just because you have to waste the normal and you can't get Alistair. But other than that, I only started once the whole tournament, so it wasn't too bad. Now on to the spells. This deck relies a lot of draw power, so definitely love the three heritage. Open that up. It's even like it's even like a cosmic cyclone away without the banishment. You just pop it with diagram if you have a a true Draco in hand already and just go ahead and clear a back row and it gets you some draw power as well. So that was great. As for the spellbook engine, just basic. Two secrets, two knowledge. This and, and Alistair in hand is great. Get some draw power and then go into the fusions or I can go even uh, Crystal Wing afterwards. Just get rid of Alistair in the field and go Ice Spell. So it's a really good extender if the right draws go through. Uh, field spells, just basic, three diagram. You need to see this all the time. Unless it gets Ash or Ogre, it's not too bad. But as long as we draw multiples, we really get our field open. Basic as well, three terraformings. So basically six diagrams in the in the deck. Really good, really good. Any meltdowns? Yes, for the so Alistair meltdowns, engine? I did two. I know I've had some issues with getting Ash for not adding, so I wanted two just to create a little bit more consistency. I think I did Brick once in the top four match, just drawing this, so it wasn't that great. So I wish I would have done one, but, you know, maybe for next time. As for invocations, two invocations. I know people will typically run it at one. But you want to see it as much as possible since it's not limited to a once per turn for fusion summoning. So, I mean, it's great. If it gets negated the first time, if you don't have a meltdown on the field, you can go for a second one if you have it. So that's always good. Today, I just see a lot of Alistair's in hand, so it was really great adding that card. And just basic traps for the day. Um, two strikes, it was great against Pendulum Magicians. They ended up using that in the finals, but it was okay. And then one warning, always great. Yeah. And then it's always good. Warning. If warning was anything more, it'd be too broken. Oh, and yeah. And then you got one return and then one apocalypse. All Didn't right. use apocalypse effect for cutting in half at all. It was just a great extender. Return, wish it was more at least two, but what can you do? Exactly. All right. So now onto the extra deck. Just a basic standard extra deck. So one proxy dragon just in case it came up and the deco talker as well what well, wasn't used the whole tournament it was just there for if i needed to okay. um indeed, for indeed. invokes i did just one water just because of the blue boy too bad we don't have dynamite anymore so That'd oh well we still make it work exactly and then i got just a basic earth didn't use it all the whole tournament elysium just in case i needed to wipe out anything didn't use it at all it was just, just put up there. the deck winter bill it's okay, but the problem is it's an activation effect. So they so can, ogre, they can it. ogre it. So I didn't really go into it except once when I knew no, hand, no cards were in hand for my opponent. Stardust was great. I used it twice. 
negate magical circle round two twice. They're just coming back, so it's just it's just a good card. Yeah. As for the rest of them, well, one more. Obviously, you gotta play Crystal Wing. You can't play Wing Witch without Crystal oh, yeah. Wing. If you're on Kaijus, yeah, you're good, but anything else, we're fine. Rest of the invoke, Purgatrio, definitely a game winner. Definitely being able to attack every one of your opponent's cards and you get a boost off of it, so that's great. Won me two games. Uh, Rajadin's great as well. Oh, yeah, you have to go for the Wind One. Exactly. Especially with being locked with the Wind Witch engine. Mm -hmm. It was only used as a last resort if my. If my Wing Witch combo was stopped by like Ash or Ogre, so if I had Ash in hand, I could go off and go into Rajadin, which did suck, but it was still pretty helpful in this tournament. Uh, I missed one. Clear Wing. Every time I went to Wing Witch combo, it was great. They can't uh, Ash it or Ogre it because I'm not activating anything, so it was always good. A good combo starter, so that was great. And then obviously you can't play Invoke without Mikaba. They resolved it once, but other than that, it's a good body to have on the field. Not many Paleos. I was hoping for Paleos, but... Not that great. Paleo, so, you just make the water and you just make them lose because exactly. they can't target the water. As for my extra deck, I did side for a bunch of decks I was expecting. I was expecting ABC, so you got one of the ally. And then, sorry guys. And then two system downs. I didn't pull it off at all. My top four match against Cosmos, I did lose game three just because of a brick. Thanks a lot, Magical Meltdown, but you know, you learn. As for. Pendulums, I was expecting Pendulums to be like insane out here, I only played one, so I prepared with three anti-spells, one Imperial Order, and then two D-Barriers. Didn't see any of them in the, in the second game, so that was pretty bad, so what can you do? Sometimes the luck isn't on your side. As for Paleos, I was expecting Paleos, so I just ran two Royal Decrees to shut down the whole, shut down the whole engine, so I was hoping but no Paleos today, and then you, you know, basic stuff. The kaiju and the, the one slumber. The kaiju and the one slumber. I mean, it's good they took down Dark Hole and slumber to one, but I mean, it gets the game a little slower. It makes the game. You can build boards now, so it's a little bit fun, but it's a little slower. Who knows how things will be when spirals come out, since that's going to be our new T Zero deck. All right. So, other than the meltdown, anything else you would change in the deck? Um, maybe run disciple one disciples and cut back one heritage just because at times I felt like if the game dragged out too long for the grind game, I wouldn't be able to reshuffle everything. But other than that, the deck's pretty consistent. Maybe one magical meltdown instead of two, but you know, that's for next time. All right, and then any last things you want to say before we sign off? Uh, thanks to Team Outcast for having me on this video. Thanks to all my friends at All Seas, Mile High Comics. Thanks for helping me prepare, and then uh, we'll see y'all next time at Regionals. All right. See you guys later.